say that I am. Who is Jesus to you? And we hear Peter cry out, You are the Christ, the anointed one, the son of the living God. Nobody had ever said anything like that before. Nobody had ever equated the Messiah who would come to bring God's reign in the world with the Son of the Living God in the moment that presence of the Holy incarnated in the flesh. But something burst through Peter in his understanding of who he was looking at. This man that seemed ordinary, that ate like he did, and yet brought something totally new and different that allowed the simple fishermen to sense the sacred and the holy to come closer to God. Jesus says, blessed are you. Blessed are you, blissful are you, because this has not been revealed to you by anybody. Not by a book, not by another person. And that's a big teaching, friend. For each of us, the call is to understand something of what this presence means. Not just a catechism, not just rote memory, not just what they told you in third grade Sunday school. What is, who is this Christ figure to you? And what difference does it make? Keep that question open. Jesus says, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. We all know that Peter became Bishop of Rome, and that became the big line to create the Roman Catholic Church. Let me give you another take on this. You are Petros. You are stone, solid. And on this petra, on this bedrock, on this recognition of who I am, I will build my gathering of those who are called out, which is the meaning of church. Not on Peter the man, not on apostolic succession, on every human being who realizes that this is God called to you to follow in the steps of this first fruit of a new humanity, awakened to the reality of God. Jesus has put a face on the uncreated, not to be worshipped from afar, not to create divisions among peoples and religions and everything else, to give us a tangible, in our world, understanding. He is and therefore who we are. If He is incarnation of spirit in its fullness and the first born of many, then each of us is meant to be shaped in that way. 